The next thing we're going to do in this workpiece is we're going to create the four holes that go through the, uh, the workpiece. We're actually going to make holes that go all the way through the stock material when we do this, just like we made our, our through pocket go all the way through the stock material. Now we've got here two quarter 20 holes that are in the upper right hand quadrant of the, uh, of the part. And we've got two clearance holes for quarter inch fasteners that are in the lower left hand quadrant. Now the clearance holes are counterboard to accept a socket head cap screw. And again, these, these holes in the upper right hand corner are tapped holes with a quarter 20 thread. Now before we do that, we have to actually tell Esprit that we want to drill holes at this location. The way we're going to do that is we're going to go to our features, create features, edit features toolbar. We're going to go to the hole recognition dialog. And in our hole recognition dialog, as long as our maximum diameter is greater than 0.4375 or greater than or equal to 4375, that's the diameter of the counter bore for our quarter 20 hole. And as long as the minimum diameter is smaller than 0.25, which is the diameter of our quarter 20 fastener or our quarter 20 tapped hole here, as long as those diameters are correct, we need to select the workpiece. So we're going to select all, select the workpiece, and click OK. If we get this error message, it means that we've either got one of the diameters incorrect or we didn't select the workpiece. So let me go ahead, hit my max diameter is 4375. My minimum diameter is 0.25. My workpiece that I want to use here, all right, and then click OK. And it created a counterboard feature here and what it called a simple hole over here. Now we know from our annotations actually that that is a quarter 20 tapped hole here. Um, Esprit didn't recognize the tap in the feature. If you had loaded this part in from SolidWorks and it was defined as a tap hole in SolidWorks, then it would have actually automatically recognized that it was a tap hole. But we can ignore that for right now. Uh, one of the things I want to do, just like we did when we, we had our pocket here and we extended the depth of our pocket, I want to take the, uh, the counter bore feature here and I want to extend that depth. Instead of 0.5 inches, I want that to be 0.75, just like it was with our through pocket. And also on our simple hole, I want to change that depth to be 0.75. And, uh, and so I click anywhere else outside there. Now, if I go to the, uh, the front view and I turn my stock material on, we can see that the, uh, the hole goes through the stock material there and the counterboard hole also goes through the stock material. So that's where I want it to be. Go back to the isometric view, turn the stock back off and turn my annotations back off. And so now we've created what, what Esprit calls a point-to-point -point feature or a P-top feature for each of these uh, different types of hole. We're gonna use these features when we create the drilling operations. And um, it's the, uh, the, the P-top features are very useful. One of the things that it does is it, it, it specifies the order in which it will drill the holes. And if you have one P-top feature that has several holes attached to it, you can have the same operation applied to all of those holes with just one setup. And we're, we're going to get into that as we create the, the operations in the next, uh, the next sub step here.